Halle, Germany, home to the Jerry Weber Open, one of six grass court tournaments on the calendar. This ATP World Tour 250 event was initially contested on clay, but is now one of the highlights of the grass court swing. It started in 93, the first Jerry Weber Open, and uh, the years before we had a challenger tournament on clay. So the idea was born to apply for this uh, tournament week and then to have the tournament on grass because in Germany we had to this time already three Wimbledon champions, Boris Becker, Michael Stich and Steffi Graf. Having this uh, uh, German champions uh, on grass, I think it was an idea to, to try this uh, with, a, with a grass court tournament. Wimbledon was an inspiration to the Jerry Weber Open, but as Halle has evolved, this has become a two-way relationship, each tournament now learning from the other. They were orientating a little bit on Wimbledon and they, they had exchanged. They had the roof before Wimbledon, so they, people from Wimbledon came here and, okay, the people from, from, from Halle came, go to, went to Wimbledon and then, then had a conversation. So it's, it's, it's very interesting, really, to see how, how that developed, the centre court with the roof and, and now with 30,000 people. I mean, it's amazing. It's an amazing stage. We try to have the same grass conditions like in Wimbledon. We have an uh, English greenkeeper here, they do a very good job. So I think it's, we do everything for the players that they have a good preparation for the next tournament. Germany's grass court legacy has inspired a new generation of German players. They relish the chance to showcase their talents on home soil. It's in Germany and it's on a favorite surface for me, it's on grass court. Uh, really good preparation for Wimbledon and yeah, I'm really looking forward to play here. Yeah, I really enjoy playing here in Halle. Uh, I like grass court tennis in general very much, and yeah, if I have the chance to play in Germany a tournament, especially on grass, I'm very pleased to do it. German grass is a little bit faster maybe than um, the British grass, but um, I think it's it's a really nice center court. We have a, um, a very, very strong tournament always here, so it's, it's, it's a good preparation um, because it's a pretty high level of tournament. It's fantastic. and. Obviously, being in Germany with the German crowds uh, behind your back is, is always a lot of fun. It's not just the German players who enjoy Halle. Although absent following his heroics at Roland Garros, a certain Roger Federer has signed a lifetime deal to play at the Jerry Weber Open. I think this lifetime contract we signed uh, was unique in tennis. And it shows that uh, yeah, Roger Federer and Gregor Weber Open have a very long connection history because Roger played the first time when he was 18. He won the tournament five times, then he won Wimbledon. And he likes, he loves this tournament, he always came with his family. And so I think he decided to, to make this contract. I think it's uh, very good and I hope that he will play next year and uh, a lot of more years. Last year's final was a classic, a clash of two grass court greats. Australia's Leighton Hewitt victorious against Federer in his inaugural visit to Halle. That was a big show last year, a, a final of two Wimbledon champions, uh, Federer, Hewitt, yeah, it makes it even more special. I've only been here once and was lucky enough to win the tournament and uh, played some great tennis as the week went on last year, so it's always nice to come back to somewhere where you know, it feels familiar and, and good memories from him. The former world number one is on the comeback trail from injury and hoping that Halle would once again prove to be a happy hunting ground. It's taking it week by week at the moment, obviously been out for uh, quite a few months and uh, something that just needed to be cleaned up and uh, yeah, it's good to come back on the grass anyway. It's always nice to come back to somewhere where you've played well in the past. The 2002 Wimbledon champion had traditionally played at Queen's as part of his grass court preparation, so why the move to Huller? Yeah, just something different. Um, obviously I've had a lot of success at Queen's over the year, but I, you know, I'd heard that this was a fantastic event as well and, and it's nice to try different tournaments at different stages of your, of your career and, and obviously I've been fortunate enough to win four, four titles at Queen's and you know, hopefully I can win uh, one or two more here. 2012 will mark the 20th edition of the Jerry Weber Open. Already an established and much loved tournament, the future looks bright for this German grass court gem. It's a big success story, really. I mean, if you see when they started here with this small court and, and the challenger tournament, now it's really one of the big, big, big tournaments in the world I mean, on this, this level. I hope that we can uh, keep this high level because the last years, I think, we have a very good international reputation with this good uh, crowds, more than 100,000 every year. And I hope that we yeah, can 
develop this tournament uh, more and more the next years. Ralph and Gary Weber, they do a lot for the spectators. They have a lot of tennis, but also a lot of things going on, on besides tennis. They have music concert, they, they do a, really a lot. So I think um, it's overall, it's for everybody, for us as players or for the organization, for the spectators, it's a really, really high class tournament.